So, I'm this boy, I feel like a young boy with this man. But I felt like a man in that moment. Something changed in me. And I took the lead. And I said, come with me, I said. And I found this dark room that I knew and I got him to squat over my cock. I laid down on the floor with my back against the wall. But he couldn't make it because he's he was bigger. He couldn't get that low. So I had to move closer into the room in the darkness. And I felt for the first time his, his hole push onto my cock and it was Like I got to know the man as he was, his cock, my cock stirred. As his hole was going down my cock, I didn't, at that point I was in so in love with him that it, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether to focus on him or his, or the feeling. And it was just amazing. I felt like two brothers, but not like siblings, like, Friends with benefits. Like, that's the wrong word. I used two times used the wrong word, father and brother, in this video. But it felt like. I don't know. Fucking don't know what the word is. And it was amazing to be connected with, like this to this, this man. In this moment, I felt like a man. The first time I felt like a real man. Because I took control, man, and I did. Everything I did was out of joy and passion, but I was in full control this time, and he let me. And I even, I even let him slap my balls and take over, and he didn't want to. It's like he wanted me to, to grow up, like he wanted to watch this boy grow in this moment, and I did. And it's hard to share on camera because I don't know what people are going to think, but I'm grateful for this experience. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> We're almost at the end, me and him, and he's squatting over my cock. And I'm watching his body. It's beautiful, man. To see the ass. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's beautiful because at the gym, I see people squatting. And I'm like, one day, <laughs> I'm going to have sex with one of those kind of guys, you know? And I did today at the gym. I mean, at, it was in the gym, but at the bathhouse. And I've had sex with guys like that before. But this is gonna seem personal. No, I can't say it. it's too much. Fuck. Um, we lay down together. I start humping this man, and I don't get it. This connection is amazing. And I didn't know that a smaller guy could have a bigger guy like this. That was the main story. That was it. I felt like a 19 year old on this masculine man and it was beautiful and I became a man like I said in that moment more than I've ever felt. I've always felt like a man but I took it to the next level is what I mean by that and I felt like I really grew up fully and it's like he knew but he didn't say it out loud. He just wanted me and I wanted him. I couldn't get my cock up deep enough because he's bigger. He's such a big guy that my cock didn't hit this point. I told him that, I told him so bad. I said, dude, I want to make you happy. I want to keep you what I want. I want to hit that place and I couldn't. And a part of me felt angry because I felt like I wasn't a man in that moment too because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I feel like I couldn't, I feel like I couldn't get him, get him off. I felt like I couldn't get him off, man. And I did, though. Because <laughs> he looked at me. And he, 
And then I knew, I knew in that moment it wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. It was about this fucking connection we had, me and him, and he liked me for everything I was, and I liked him for everything he was. We fully accepted each other in that moment. And I said, I have to go, I have, I have to go. I said, I have to go, I gotta go home. I gotta go back to Canada. He's like, I want you to come, and I said, I can't. I gotta go, man, because I don't, I don't want, I don't want this to end this feeling, because it feels so good, bro. But I had to, I had to come. I had to, I had to finish it, I had to finish it with him. And I did. We climbed down the ladder of the bed. It's like a bunk bed with a metal gate around us. And there were people watching us having sex and he didn't care. I didn't care either. I was the one who said I didn't care. And he followed my lead. It was like this guy was following me. It was so amazing. And then I came. It was the greatest feeling ever. I don't know what happened, but when I came, it was a lot. And I don't remember if it was in his mouth or if it was over his face. I can't remember. I believe it was in his mouth because I remember him. I remember this giant man who was so soft in that moment. Completely butter, and I just, I, yeah. And that was it.